he'd look at me a lot since I was the only black kid in that class. All new at 11, a teacher living a double life as a student recalls the uncomfortable moments while in class. Good evening, everyone. That teacher is not expected to be at school tomorrow as her white nationalist podcast under a fake name makes national headlines. It certainly has. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska just spoke to the teen who says he was made to feel weird about being black. That 13 year old shocked tonight. This statement released by Diana Volatich says she doesn't bring her personal opinions or politics into her classroom and that she doesn't discuss her quote unquote hobby. But students say that's not entirely true. She's some weird things. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. Crystal River Middle School student Asa Austin says his social studies teacher gave her opinion a lot. What type of opinion? About like ISIS and slavery and things like that. They don't want to be seen as bigoted, racist, whatever you want to call it. I honestly don't care. Diana Volatich says she used the Russian name Tiana Dalikov for political satire in exaggeration on her podcast. Her statement directly contradicts her podcast. I said, if you have questions, I will answer you. I'm not going to give you, you know, a, a biased view of anything. She'd look at me a lot since I was the only black kid in that class. And Austin says Volatich used him as an example during a lesson on slavery. Yeah, everybody started looking at me in that class. Volatich defending her podcast, saying all of the statements were just made for, quote, attracting listeners and followers. That's just the way it is. There are, there are races that have higher IQs than than others. Some podcasts go on to blame Jews, Muslims, and people of color for the world's problems. Because New Orleans is, there's quite a huge African population there. And it's this ingrained hunter-gatherer culture that left them unprepared for Hurricane Katrina. You're all people. I mean, just don't be mean. Austin says he doesn't believe his teacher is telling the truth. I just don't like her. Volatich has not been fired. The district telling us she is under investigation, but they can't comment further. In Citrus County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.